Mary Delights. Today I have something very special for you. We're going to make a 4th of July dish that's special to my heart living here in Arizona and it's a Sonoran hot dog. I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. That's all I've ever wanted. So if you've liked and subscribed to my channel already, that's great. Awesome. Keep joining me. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so because I have some amazing recipes on my channel. Let's get to our Sonoran hot dog recipe. The first thing that we do with the Sonoran dog and what's special about a Sonoran dog is we're going to have some beans in it. Um, and here I just have some pinto beans. Um, any, any type of pinto beans will do. Um, you can also just use a can of beans if you would like. It's a lot easier and a lot quicker, but I grew up making beans on my own with like fresh beans, and so I'm going to do it that way. I just feel like it tastes better. They're more flavorful, even though they are a little bit more work. For the beans, I have, like I said, I have a, just a small little bag of beans. Let's see, this is 16 ounces of beans in here. And so the way my grandma taught me to do beans is to just spread them out on your counter a little bit at a time because there's sometimes there's just like little tiny rocks or little pebbles or something in the beans and so you just want to get that and any of the little tiny little pieces like this little half piece or whatever I'm just going to take that out and I'm just going to do that to all of my beans and then I'm going to pour it into my colander. Okay, so in my beans, I just have them covered full with water, all, about two inches above the bean line. And then I also have a quarter of an onion that I stuck in there. And then I'm just going to season them. So I'm going to do some salt and some garlic powder. It's just, just going to put some flavor into the beans. Um, and then I'm just going to let these boil for about an hour. And then we'll check them to see if they're tender. All right, guys, so we are making bacon wrapped Sonoran dogs. So what I have here is I have some all beef hot dogs. Um, these are Hebrew National brand, um, and they're just like the big giant ones. You can use any type of hot dog that you want, though. Um, so what I got here is the bacon and the hot dogs, and I've got just regular sliced bacon. You don't want to get the thick slice because it's going to be too hard to cook when you put them on the grill. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the top of each hot dog. And I'm going to hold this down, the top part down, and I'm just going to slowly wrap down my dog. So if you overlap that first wrap, then that'll help it like stay on the hot dog. Now, since these are so big, I'm using one and a half pieces. And what I'm doing at the very end is I've got this loose piece. I'm just going to tuck it in to this part of the hot dog. So if you can see that, just tucking it in so it doesn't unloosen while I'm grilling. There you go. And you don't have like a flap or anything like that. Another tip if you want is you can... Um, Use a toothpick and stab the hot dog with the toothpick to hold on that bacon. Now I like to do this in advance. That way I can just like put them in my fridge and let them chill until all my rest of my ingredients are ready. But if you wanted to, you could just put these on the grill now. Um, I just want to make sure everything else is prepared before we get that started. So to make a Sonoran dog, there's also there's a special sauce that we put on top of the Sonoran dog, and it's just a jalapeno sauce. And so I'm gonna show you how to make that sauce. So in here, I, I have two cups of water in a pot, and I just put a whole jalapeno in there. And then I got a quarter of an onion that I'm gonna stick in there. And then two garlic cloves, also in that. And then I've got tomatillos. So I don't know if you've ever seen a tomatillo, but um, this is what it looks like. It's got like a skin around it. And it's kind of sticky like in the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the skins off of the tomatillos and we're going to wash them. And then we're gonna stick them all in our pot with the water. And we're gonna let them boil for about 20 minutes. And I just have about a pound of tomatillos. All right, so I'm just gonna let this boil for 20 minutes. Okay, so let's get that sauce going. So I've got all of my ingredients that I was boiling and I put it in my blender. 
I drained all the liquid out of it. And so now I'm gonna put a half a cup of white vinegar in here and a chunk full of cilantro, about a quarter of a cup. All right. Now it's still hot, so you're gonna wanna keep your vent open, but I'm gonna cover it so that way the steam can come out, but it's not gonna spray all over. And I'm just gonna blend it. Okay, now that it's done blending, I'm gonna use my strainer and I'm gonna strain the sauce into my bowl. This is just gonna get rid of all of the, if there's any leftover big chunks, and also the seeds from the tomatillos. Looks good. Okay, so now I've got my bowl of sauce. I'm just gonna stick it, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge and let it chill. Um, and then also I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there just to taste. You can add as much as you, or much or as little as you'd like. Okay, so we have our sauce done. We have our beans done. Now we just gotta grill these babies up. Now, one thing that's special about the Sonoran dogs is that they don't just use a regular standard bun. They use um, what it's called a bolillo, and it's just like a Mexican um, bread bun, basically. And so I like to use them just because with our hot dog, we're gonna put a bunch of toppings on it, and so these are kind of deeper than a regular hot dog bun, so you can fit more in there. So I'm going to put these on the grill. I'm gonna also pop these on the grill so we can give them a little char on the outside and warm them up a little bit. And then we will put our hot dog, our Sonoran dogs together. All right, we are done. The hot dogs cook really quick, so um, you need to watch them but otherwise they look delicious. I've got my rolls that I've kind of scored on the outside so that it's nice and nice presentation. And I've got my hot dogs that are completely cooked and browned, bacon's cooked, it looks amazing. I also heated up some jalapenos, roasted those as well. Um, so we are going to put our food together now. So with our bolillo, the first thing we're going to do is I'm just gonna cut. So I've got a hole in the top of it, like just like a, like a hot dog bun would be. And then I've got my toppings here. So I've got beans, I've got some sliced onions and cilantro, mayonnaise, mustard, and then that jalapeno sauce that we made. And so I'm just going to put this all together. I've also got some avocado that I'm gonna slice in there. So I'm gonna put my avocado slices first, just a couple slices. And I'm just gonna lay them on the side like that and then I'm gonna put my lovely bacon wrapped hot dog in there now I've got my beans and I had lots of extra beans and so you can just use these for like bean and cheese burritos or whatever you want to use the beans for they're they're always good just plain like this so I'm just going to sprinkle a spoonful two of beans all right so next is my sauces so first I've got mustard just the mustard then I've got my jalapeno sauce that we made earlier drizzle that on there mayonnaise now you can leave these some of these toppings off if this is not your thing you hate mayonnaise then don't worry about it leave it off and then I'm just gonna, to top it off, I'm gonna put a little bit of onions and some cilantro. You can always add a little extra, whatever you feel like you wanna add. Doesn't that look amazing? Anyway, it smells delicious, it looks so good, and I'm very excited for this one, so. Um, I Like I said, I roasted some jalapenos, so you can do that too, or you can't if you don't want to. Sometimes I just like to eat a little, some jalapenos with this, or cut, chop some up and put it on here too, just to make it a little bit more spicy if you like that. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this. So I have this, and then I also made a, a, a Mexican drink. It's called Jamaica, and it's made out of hibiscus. 
and if you want to try this it's really refreshing it's really delicious go to my shorts or my reels on my Instagram and you can see how I made this it's so good and it's zero calories because I use stevia so it's not bad for you and it's delicious so let's try our hot dog first our Sonoran dog gotta represent Arizona you know <laughs> all right let's go this is the best hot dog I have ever eaten in my life let me tell you it's so good the toppings make it like different than just a regular hot dog with ketchup and mustard on it and it's perfect for this 4th of July so I encourage you to make this whether you're from Arizona and eat these all the time or have only eaten them a couple times living in Arizona or no times or you live in another state and you want to know what it's like to live in Arizona for just a little bit I definitely encourage you to try these I'm gonna just wash it down with my Jamaica oh that came out so good so good okay so that's all I have for you guys today thank you all for watching thank you for joining me um, please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already and I would love for you to try any of my other recipes um, you're looking for something good to make on 4th of July I have a hamburger recipe on here butter burgers which is delicious um, otherwise there's other recipes on my channel that I would love for you to watch as well um, please like and subscribe and thank you very much Bye.